Hello, my name is Tandy Banks, Elite Application Engineer for Go Engineer. Today in this quick tip, I want to contrast a couple of the great features that we have within the SOLIDWORKS assembly environment. The first of which is being able to use uh, a mate to show the interaction between a couple of gears. I've got a couple of bevel gears here uh, set at 90 degree angle and you can see degrees of freedom are such that whenever I, I move one of the components, the other one doesn't move. By coming in and placing a, a gear mate, which is found within our mechanical mates, see here gear, we're able to select like diameters of gears, and it'll show that those the gear ratio between these. Today these are set to the exact same diameter, so we have uh, the same gear ratio. But whenever we accept that mate, now I'm able to move one of the components, and you can see that both components will move accordingly. And this is good for a vast majority of our interactions in our assembly environment. But if I look at a detail view and zoom, zoom up around these gear teeth, you can kind of see that we've got an air gap built in around all these gears. And that's needed in our design to make proper gear interaction. But instead of using the gear mate, I have another functionality within uh, inside the SOLIDWORKS assembly environment that lets, lets me move these components a little more accurate to a uh, real life scenario. They're found in the assembly ribbon toolbar under the move component feature. Inside here we have three options, standard drag, collision detection, and physical dynamics. Physical dynamics is the option that I want to invoke and you can see here I can check between all the components in my assembly or only specified components. Today I want to use all the components uh, in this assembly. Any degrees of freedom that are available between these components will allow me to drag one of the components and be able to interact with any of the other components that it can. In this case you can see that the yellow gear doesn't move until the teeth of the blue gear come in contact with it. So if we had some kind of clearance or gap or a backlash that we were trying to design in, we're able to confirm that this gear set will move freely as designed using our physical dynamics interaction. This is the same functionality that's used whenever you create motion studies um, and animations where it will actually interact with the components. You can turn that physical dynamics option on as opposed to using the gear mate. My name is Tandy Banks with Go Engineer. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip today.